Welcome back to Making History 2, The War of the World as Japan, Part 3. Today we're going to be continuing our foray into increasing our resource production and maxing out our industrial capacity. In the end result, building up our forces so that we can invade China, maybe into Russia towards endgame, and uh, defending ourselves against the U.S. if they decide to invade us or and generally defend against the West while we do this. Um, so let's get back into it. And the first thing I want to do is bring up our, uh, press our hotkey for C again, bring up our city and region management, and see where we are in uh, our production again. So we have some factories going. Again, our manpower is low, so we can't uh, build anything else. Checking out our regions, got some farms going, a coal pit, so on and so forth. Uh, so all we can do while our manpower, while we wait for our manpower to regenerate, uh, so that they, I can put them on new uh, projects, is to just keep advancing through the turns. And it's uh, 676 turns in all. We're only on turn 11, so we got many, many, many more to go. So I'm going to leave it on our regional assets screen while I press the turn key oh, there's some notifications up here this we can just dismiss because we won't be able to go in and initiate anything without manpower this turn anyway so I'm going to cancel those out or hide them again and hit the turn key and we're just going to go through it a few times until we get some manpower up and like I said assign it to some new projects so there we go Okay, coal pit. Coal pit. Fascist party gained popularity. It's good. We always want to be boosting or doing anything we can to raise our primary government party's uh, percentage of uh, uh, domination in the in the uh, government. So now we are up to 50%. Let's see how our government program is going along. We have 14 more turns. We just initiated that. So it's going to be a while on, on that. Um, so I found in other games I've played that as you go along and you're successfully putting these people to work, initiating all this uh, infrastructure and production, it raises the uh, popularity of your ruling faction. So that it also contributes to that. So I'm just going to go through a few turns. Well, wait a minute. We've got here. We got. Uh, Cold pit completed in Kyushu. Check that out. Gym production. Okay, cold pit. So we got some manpower. We want to get that cold production up as soon as possible. Boom, we're going to start another one. Mutsu. Click on that. It goes right to Mutsu. Same thing. Another cold pit going. Gives us 30 manpower left. How's our food? I was planning to get look there. They're consuming more food than we're producing. We really got to get the food going too. We don't want our population to starve. So I'm going to go back to dismiss this first. Back to that uh, regional assets. Find out. Okay, so there's a home island province, a region that can use a program. We're going to start an open field farm there. All right some of our farming going. We may even have to hold off on coal and really hit the food production. All right, let's see. Uh, another thing we can do, and that is go into the trade screen and into our stockpiles list. And let's see, we can try to buy some food to hold off the starvation so by trying to buy oil trying to buy metal and we might we'll be trying to buy food as well our stockpile level is to 2,000 so anything under 2,000 we want to be buying so that'll help we might even raise it up to 3,000 we'll go with that Let's see what happens 
I hit pl uh, turn, we should be seeing some. Uh, boom. Yep. Look, we bought two thousands and significantly impacted our treasury. But hey, we got a nice little surplus going, so we won't run out of food and uh, make our government factions, uh, the population satisfaction of our government faction, go down. So remember, we're trying to raise it up as much as possible, keep everybody satisfied, more productive, and everything moving along strongly. Another thing I want to do here, let's miss that, is I see my fleet sitting out here in the open ocean. Um, I don't know if they're using oil. I don't think they are. But just in case, they're using some per turn. Let's see what we got here. Oh, consume zero. I guess not. Okay, because I, th I guess it's only if you're moving around. They're just stationary, so that's good. They're out there for protection, but uh, if they're mo using fuel, uh, I would put them right back in port. So, here we go. Another turn. Turn 14. Nothing hit the notification, so I'll advance another turn since we have no wars going on or anything to micromanage. Other than just building up the economy. Okay, here's a couple of. Uh, oh, good, a few things. Dismiss these. I usually scroll through those newspaper articles because sometimes, in in buried in these uh, notifications about resource things being uh, built, there's uh, some uh, world news embedded in there. Sometimes I hate to miss that, so I I manually scroll through them all before I do this. So, pick it up my screen again. Let's see what we got. Canto pleated coal pit. So Canto. We can also go another route. We don't have to expand our food, which is the most sensible thing, but if we want to get our coal and metal production up and running as uh, highly as possible early in the game, we can concentrate on that and sell our coal off and buy food in exchange until we get up all our coal going and then we'll concentrate on expanding our farms and that way we have maximum production maximum money coming in our treasury so it's either way you can go either way uh, Carofunto uh, coal pit how many men we got oh we got a few good Hamgyong Hamgyong okay now that's already got coal production so I'm going to Give it a, our metal production, metal pit. I'm going to bring it up to metal mine. Um, Hokkaido. Okay, we're going to jack that up to mine upgrade. And Chubu. Can put another coal pit in. Okay, we still have manpower left. So I think I'm going to get back to regional assets. Get the major farms going again. This one's in Pion. Oops. Yeah, I'll do that. Open field farm. Oh, that's in Creo. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose I could cancel it, but yeah, I want to concentrate on the home islands before I go building anything over there. Should exclude but then maybe not yeah because colony in Korea colony in China those are all set off so national regions I just want to get those going so this one here your farm okay now I even I run out of manpower. I think it takes 40 each farm, so. Oh, no more. No more farms can be uh, put up. That's alright, I'll save my manpower till next turn. And. Let me 
go. It's another turn. Back here. Alright. We want to go to this. Expanding. We'll do again. Expanding. got my ships. Oh, those Russian destroyers. Okay. I thought those were mine. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Good. Ah, uh, Mackinac Factory built in Ku Kumamoto Cottage Factory. All right, we gained some more popularity. Excellent stuff. Let's go and click on the factory. Oops, that's loud. And see what we got. So, infrastructure. Wow, look at them all. And down here, we are building another factory. Yeah, well, I suppose. Well, it seems like overkill. I'm going to cut the production on that. Returns my men to the man pool, uh, manpower pool. Um, uh, Kaiju Factory in Nagasaki. That I want to continue. So I won't mess with that. Um, let's see, Kanto. Coal pit, coal pit, Chukoku open field farm. Okay, well, another one. Carfudo coal pit. All right, upgrade to mine. Where is this? Hmm. I guess that's fine. I mean, national. Anyway, we'll do it. Diwa. Another farm. Sugoku. Another farm. Metal mines. Desperately need it. That's the only reason I'm really going. Oh, I've maxed out my my metal production there. So that's okay. Korea. Mine here and Chubu. Another coal pit. All right. So that's that. Something I wanted to look at. Was I can't remember what I was doing. I wanted to make sure we had plenty of munitions plants, which we do, so we can make tons of arms later when we get uh, our money going. Also, research is a concern. Research, we've only got three measly little universities. That's not going to be sufficient. So what I need to be doing is getting some more universities built. So we want to do is I'd like to see him as national again so this one in Hiroshima is doing nothing but goods so I'm going to click on this and I'm going to get a university going here I think about oh no manpower uh, I'm going to initiate another one even though it's not going to have enough manpower to launch but I want to get another one going Let's see. Kumamoto there or whatever. Has 30 ICU production so we can really crank out one quickly. Let's see. Red. But it won't be long. And then check my research centers. Okay, mine mechanization. 
we can't be lagging that far behind in in uh, research. So I'm going to put one more slate, one more for oh, Tokyo already has one. I wonder. Um, I don't think we've researched. Oh, we do. We can put up a research facility. That's exactly what we're going to do because we need that. It's going to take 75 manpower, but in a couple turns it'll initiate, and that's going to like triple our research uh, abilities in that city so when that's done. So there's that. Advance another turn. I think I might turn down the game. Sound is really really annoying that crunch when you click on a town. Da da da. Kongchi Chung Chung Chong completed open field farm. Chung Chong, that's Korea. Okay, not gonna worry about that. Kyushu, definitely gonna worry about that. Coal. Mutsu. Coal. Now it might be a good time a few turns later to check out my uh, uh, financial reports. Uh, we're losing 30 million turn. Not terrible. We are importing 22 million uh, worth of food right? every turn to try to keep us in, in balance. Uh, we're able to get three oil but not much on the market. Huge demand, little supply. This, we got a couple of metal, just not keeping up. We're producing 30 and consuming 100 every time we're putting up factories and so on and so forth. We're using up that metal. Arms is going to use a lot of metal. We really need to. Mm, we're in trouble. What's in. Uh, Manchuria is my puppet, am I right? Manchuria is a member of my alliance. Hmm. Okay. I need to puppetize her so I can get a hold of her metal faci uh, producing facilities. Let's see what we got. Da -da -da -da. Subordinates. Status. Puppet state. Okay, so why? Can't I? Hmm. Korea is putting up 30 metal. Why can't I get that? Colonies. Hmm. How can I get a hold of those? I'm going to invade them and just take them over outright? Or I'll have to look at that in a manual. Find out. Because right now, my colonies, I can extract the metal. Puppet states, I can't. I'm going to have to look into that. Let me see. Click on their capital. Bring up the diplomacy screen. See if I can. Uh, oh, diplomacy. Wrong screen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Where is Manchuria? Here we go. That's what I want. Proposed trade agreement. Annex puppet. Hmm. What do they have? They have 
five. Let's see exactly what they got. Ah, oh, they got two metal pits. Whoops. Diplomacy D. Nah. Sorry, guys. Man, Julia. I annex them. Well, well, yeah. Oh, they got one down here. I see. There we go. Fifteen, five, and one left over. So that's probably means they got ten. That's good. Coal. A little bit of coal. Oil. They don't have any oil. Food. Tons. As is most every country has plenty of farms. Industrial centers. They have four cities. Okay. Well, they're all cottage factories. One university, two munitions plants, and a shipyard. So I may just have to invade them and take over and annex them. Oh, I've already got my troops there. Well, let's see what happens. Will they rise up against me? <laughs> let's see what we can do. This may or may not turn out well for us, but uh, let's see what happens. Do you want... Uh, oh! Oh, look at all this money. I got two. Hey, it's mine. Poof. Now that was great. But now I gotta defend it. Good thing is, I have a lot of units there already. Just gotta keep an eye on China. Sweet! We just doubled the size of our country. Of our empire, rather. Okay. Do another turn. Excellent. Completed our research on mine mechanization. Mine mechanization. And we gained some more popularity. <laughs> Probably because of that annexation. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, 57%. That was like 7% uh, boost or you know, increase right there. One fell swoop. Pretty sweet. Alright, I'm zooming, I'm clicking. Um, oh, yes, we gotta initiate a new research um, project. So, if you zoom out here with your mouse wheel, it's quicker to scroll through all this stuff. Alright, so we just finished. What did we just finish? Oh, mine mechanization, that's right. Trying to get our mine mines up and running. Another thing we want to do probably eh, really need some defensive installations for the home islands. That would probably be great for in case the US decides to invade us or somebody. We could build our frontier up along Manchuria and as well until we can get uh, enough forces together to uh, take on <clears throat> China. That way if it turns bad for us we can retreat back to our defensive lines. So, reinforced concrete it is. The prerequisite is only heavy industries which we've already researched so there we go. That's our answer. Reinforced concrete. So we pull up our Hotkey, City and Region Management, go to Research Centers tab, boom, click all these, and initiate Reinforced Concrete. And the amount of turns it takes, as you see, goes down with the amount of universities or resource production research centers assigned to that. And so it's going to take 18 turns, which isn't too bad. 
So let's see. How about another turn? I want a cottage factory. Good. Turn this back on regular terrain, regular map mode. Let's go to that cottage factory, see what's happening there. All right. I want to upgrade that. Uh, into a mechanized factory which is only going to take 14 turns boom we got a lot of manpower um, our production 680 still not up to par uh, let's see sorry about the us <clears throat> take a drink here oh, sorry throat's getting dry regional assets Let's go ahead and initiate some more farms. We want to get our, like I said, our food production up. Looks like about one more I can start. Oh, two more. There we go. Alright, that's all in the queue. We'll get another turn. Oops, close this. Take one more turn. We turn 25. Sounds like a nice even number we can end this uh, episode on. Uh, let's see. No notification. Oh, wait. Our scientists in Osaka have failed to make any progress on reinforced concrete. Let's see if that affected our rate of research. Uh, they still advanced a turn. Now, sometimes, like I told you in the past, if you get one where it says they've made a significant uh, discovery or advance on the research in a certain city, yada, yada, uh, it will actually skip a couple turns. But this one at least didn't cost us a turn. So I'm going to wrap this up. Time's up. And we'll see you again next time for part four of Making History to the War of the World as Japan. Signing off. Thanks for viewing. Bye now.